shape optimization is critical for seaworthiness. Based on the weight estimate, the speed limits and sailing range, we are combining all of this, all of this uh, crucial data. That's why the optimization is important for us, because we can reduce the power consumption, we can make better sail combination, and all the things that are connected to the behavior of the boat. We can simulate real-life conditions at sea, we can put different wave height, wavelength, wind speed, current, movement of the boat, of course, can be simulated. We are starting simulations from XFlow. We see the water pressure, the areas where the drag increases, it shows us on the scale of the colors, simple as that. If it's red, we have to do something about it, or we don't have to do anything about it, because we know that it's safe. We can set the wind speed to 14 knots, 40 knots, and see how, for example, sales combination reacts to the speed change. Apart from the bolts itself, we do some other parts like the stabilizers that reduces the, the movement going up and down. It gives us the result quickly, it gives us endless combinations of parameters we can modify. Basically, the simulation for us reduces the physical testing. I think it's a revolution in boat design. Open arms a lot of possibilities, like testing halls that are unconventional, that are new, testing solutions that are new. It gives us endless possibilities in terms of fluid dynamics. It may actually increase our imagination in the design process. When we design a proper shape using Simulia X-Flow, we introduce this model to SolidWorks. We got one model used by all of the disciplines. It's easier for us to coordinate all of the interior or construction elements of the hull in one model. People can cooperate and they can work faster and more precise. So it is very, very profitable for us and help us to speed up the design process and to avoid any revisions to the documentation so production is going smoothly later on.